Hi, Tracy. I'm Marcy Frumker from the International Women's Air and Space Museum in Cleveland, Ohio. And you're part of the two firsts for women, first two women ISS crewmates and first four women in space together during the STS-131 mission. And speaking of the latter, when our museum put a photo on Twitter of the four women in space together, we had tremendous support by other women who retweeted the photo with statements like, go ladies and girl power. And I wonder, what was it like for you being with that historic number of women in space and what do you think about its impact on other women on Earth? What it was like for me, I uh, have um, nothing but a, a tremendous sense of pride of being a part of that moment, and I, I think that it, um, it represents an accomplishment for all women, not just the four of us that were there together. Uh, uh, personally, I care about each one of those ladies, and so it was a a privilege to be in space with them all of the years that we've trained uh, both separately and together uh, to have it culminate there together was a real thrill for me personally the impact I think it has on, um, on our, our world especially our, our young ladies out there or, or and women you know of all ages is that hopefully we have we have reached a, a day and age where um, there is no distinction between what a, a um, you know woman can do uh, versus a man. I have to say it's a little uncomfortable to talk about it in those terms because in the astronaut corps, there to us, if you ask any of the ladies, we don't we don't feel like we're set apart um, because of our gender because we're all treated very equally, and it's uh, just a, t a statistic basically that uh, that uh, keeps our numbers uh, small lower than the men. Um, but as far as uh, what jobs we we are able to do, what jobs we're assigned, um, is uh, there's it's really limitless, and I hope that's what uh, kind of impact that that leaves on uh, our women today. And I'm looking forward to the day when uh, uh, it's more normal than uh, noteworthy that we have uh, more than four women in space. Gotcha. And looking back on your time in the shuttle program, you flew on STS-118. Uh, what kind of an impact do you think uh, the women astronauts flying on the shuttle program have had, uh, since that's really where we've had the bulk of our women astronauts flying on? I think it's had a tremendous impact uh, from when we uh, selected our first female astronauts uh, at the beginning of the shuttle era to um, Eileen Collins being the first uh, female to, uh, to not only pilot the shuttle but command it as well. Um, it's, it's been our, um, our, our vehicle to space and uh, carried, uh, I think it, it, it uh, opened up an opportunity for more people to be involved in the space program and therefore uh, uh, women as well. So it's, I think, been a large stepping stone for us to, to prove that uh, um, there are no limits to, to what uh, women can do. Great. And our museum is a huge advocate of STEM education for young girls. I'd like to know what was your motivation for choosing the STEM pathway and your advice for young girls with similar interests? Well, I I have to say that in the very beginning, I had no idea that, that I was uh, going to pursue a, a career in, in science. And uh, it was simply because I was very curious. And uh, when I got further into school, high school mainly, I realized that it was all these questions I had, science answered them. And at the time, I didn't feel like I was very good at science. And, and to think of myself as a scientist was as far away as the moon. But uh, I had such an interest in the answers to these questions, like why does water boil, why is the sky blue, that um, it, uh, it gave me the courage to, to, to pursue a career or a pathway of science and, uh, and mathematics. And, and I, that was the, the, main, the main motivation. But it was uh, the teacher in space, Krista McAuliffe, that actually sparked my interest in becoming an astronaut. And now that you're... Okay, thank you. Thanks, Tracy. Pleasure to talk to you. Oh, thanks, Marcy.